Welcome to the Cannon County Chamber Connection. And of course, we come to you each month. Uh, DTC does make this possible for us to have this show and showcase events and people in Cannon County. And we're always proud to do that. And we want to thank DTC for giving us this opportunity to do this. You know, October is here and we still have 90 degree weather, but I did hear this morning that I believe they said sometime next week we may be down in the 60s. So I think it's going to go from 97 degrees to 30 degrees, which is what I didn't want, but that's okay. Um, the color on the leaves, which a lot of people wait for, unless we get some rain, I don't see that happening because the leaves that are changing are just dying and falling off. So but we don't have any control over that. I did want to give a little feedback on something we had this last weekend. Uh, this is the one fundraiser that the chamber has every year, and it is the Color of Fall Car and Truck Show. We had a tremendous show. We had 102 vehicles that registered and several that didn't for whatever reason. But if you don't register, you're not judged. But, um, I, I would not want to be the judges for that show. There was some beautiful vehicles there. I mean, I was just, there was some I hadn't seen before, some I had, but that's okay, because they're welcome. But the um, best of show went to a gentleman, had a beautiful truck, and his name is Terry Sliger, and he has a 1958 Chevy pickup, and it was gorgeous. But we had several that, and this always amazes me too, they were absolute original cars. I mean, there was nothing done to them. They were exactly the way they were when they bought them, and they bought them brand new. And I'm always amazed at those because they don't have the fancy paint jobs, but the paint is the original paint, and it's they are shined up, the inside of them are taken care. You've got to give those people credit <laughs> to keep those vehicles in that kind of shape. We have one lady and gentleman from Sparta, and she bought the car they have brand new, and she brings it every year. And I mean, it is, everything on it is original. So, you know, I say, even if they don't have those $5,000 paint jobs, I like those cars. I like the ones that have taken care of their vehicles for those many years. And there were several of them. We did um, give away 70 trophies and six cash awards. And uh, of course that makes everybody happy. We do have a 50-50 that was won by Oscar, um, oh my gosh, I can't remember his last name now. But anyway, he was happy over that. And uh, we have a lot of other little events that go on that make people have. We have some great uh, door prizes to give away. And of course, I can't thank all of our sponsors enough that help us put this on because they're the ones who make this possible. And O'Reilly's uh, door prizes, they give us the top 40 trophies and the other best of trophies and top trophies are sponsored by other sponsors that are on the trophy. So we want to thank all of those people and the people that come to this and everything and make it a big thing, because it is a big thing. And we will be having our last uh, toy drive cruise in on October 12th. Well, I say it will be the last one that the Chamber and DTC sponsor, because uh, DTC has been good enough all year to sponsor our um, cruise ins because there are bills that go with that, like you have to pay for the sound and the DJs <laughs> and everything, even though on the cruise ins we have a um, Cruiser of the Month award, but that is sponsored by individual merchants that want to sponsor that. So um, we don't give out any other prizes, I mean awards or anything for the cruise ins but on the 12th, and we're having it early because you never know what the weather's going to do in October, 
Uh, we are asking everybody to bring a toy that will be given to the Child Advocacy Center for children less fortunate at Christmas time. So, and you don't have to show a car to bring a toy. Anybody can bring a toy to me, it doesn't matter. But we'll be set up, but we do ask our cruisers and they're very, they're very good about doing that to bring toys for that event. But like I say, I've, I've enjoyed doing this all year. I enjoy seeing some of the same people at the car shows and at the cruise ends that come every month and the new ones that come. So don't forget October 12th and the de change, the time will change on that. It will be from three to six because it gets dark a little earlier and a lot of the cars for one reason or another, probably they don't want bugs hitting them on the way home because they'll, so a little earlier time is okay for them. Okay, I do have some guests today. Um, on my left, I have Jake Wilbanks, and Jake is with Fast Pace Urgent Care, and that is a new business that is coming into Cannon County. And I told him earlier, I had to mention that if there was a top three for the fastest built buildings, this one would have to be in the top three. <laughs> it may be the, the top one because Jake, y'all have put a building up faster than I've ever seen. Yes, ma'am. The uh, construction crews have definitely uh, taken the name of the company to heart. And, <laughs> Fast uh, pace. They have lived up to that in building the and building the building. So it's it's coming up quick. It is. It's you may beat your deadline. You told me <laughs> when you had that big hole dug mm -hmm. out there where you were, and I mean it was just a big hole. And he says, oh, we'll be done in November. And I thought, okay, <laughs> whatever you say. Well, I think they're gonna beat that deadline. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it looks. It does. Mm -hmm. But you do have, um, exactly what is fa Fast Pace is an urgent care center, but what is it that they'll be providing for the community? Right, and you know, it, it's funny you say that about you know opening up so many you know, we've kind of gotten the, the art form down as far as putting up these clinics go because this yeah. will be a little over 100 clinics for us uh, across both Tennessee, uh, Kentucky, Mississippi, Louisiana. We've really spread out here the last couple of years, but what we do um, specifically, we're in an urgent care center. Uh, and we know that's sort of uh, some new lingo for some people. It's not your typical doctor's office and it's not quite an emergency room. Uh, but what we do is we provide uh, all sorts of things sort of, that sort of come with daily all-around health. Uh, so that could include uh, cold, that could include, especially this time of year, flu. We know that's going to be a really big push here soon. Uh, but we also do some more um, uh, severe type things, like we can offer stitches for people if they come in with a cut or, you know, if they're working in their garden or something or, you know, raking leaves one morning, they, you know, cut themselves. We can do stitches. We can do x-rays. We can do soft casts. We can run IVs. We can do uh, physicals, drug screens, lab work, um, all sorts of things that we can sort of take care of people. We can do regular uh, women's health screenings. Uh, and all sorts of things. And these are all services that we do um, with no appointment required. Uh, so somebody can walk right in the door. Uh, nobody that walks in has to have an appointment. So whether that's for any service that we're providing, uh, that's all just walk-in care. Now your doctors, how many will you have it typically in a clinic of this size? Right, so what we're gonna do is we're, at, and this is the, sort of the model that we go by for all of our clinics, we're gonna have two nurse practitioners that are gonna see patients there. They're gonna be sort of the faces. I know one of those is gonna be Brad McCrary, uh, who I know is from this area, and uh, he's also gonna be uh, the clinic director there. So he's gonna be one of the providers. Uh, then of course we'll have a few nurses on staff that'll sort of be the one uh, taking patients vitals, uh, getting patients checked in, settled, that sort of thing. Uh, we'll have a couple of x-ray techs uh, naturally to take care of that for us. And then of course we'll have a couple people that we uh, rotate to take care of the front desk for us, checking okay. patients in, taking their info, that sort of thing. Okay. But we also have a, a medical director and a supervising physician that sort of oversee the clinic and serve as sort of the, 
the soundboard for them. Right. Somebody you can call and complain to. <laughs> <laughs> no, we hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> Uh, now, one of the things that may be a little different from you is you are open on Sundays, right? Yes, ma'am. We're open seven days a week, actually. Uh, so we're, we are not a 24-hour clinic, but uh, we do have extended hours that are really going to help people out that really come in handy uh, for people. Um, we're 8 to 8, Monday through Friday, and that gives people enough time that whenever they're getting off work or they're getting their kids home from school and maybe they're sitting down at the dinner table and they you know, start to notice that you know, maybe one of the kids has a cough or is sick and something they want to take care of before the morning, yeah. they can still come in uh, before eight o'clock and be seen. And then on Saturdays, we're open eight to six. So that's a pretty wide window as well. And then on Sundays, we're one to five. And we often notice that those Sundays that we're open are pretty that Empty. one to it, that's a marathon that one to five is a marathon because people will go to church and then they'll get their dinner. Like, I think this kid's sick when we went to church and exactly he's still sick. <laughs> so they want to get that took care of before the week starts so like I said we're seven days a week so how about broken bones and this type of thing uh, you send them on to someone else or? So if somebody comes in with a broken bone, uh, we can take care of that with like a soft cast mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. Depending on the severity of it, uh, we, any community that we come into, we set up a relationship with the hospital or the nearest hospital uh, with us. So we'll go in and even when we do our open house here in a few weeks, we'll invite the hospital in and sort of say, hey, here's what we can do and then Obviously, there's a limit to what we can do, and here's where we, you know, want to set up a relationship with y'all. So, uh, if somebody's coming in, take for example, if they're exhibiting signs of a heart attack, well, that's obviously an emergency situation, but we're not going to turn that person away. So we'll come in, we'll get that person stabilized, and then we're going to arrange transport to the hospital. So that's the sort of thing that we look for. Uh, the hospitals will know who we are, what we're about, what we can do, uh, and we set up a working relationship with them. So depending on the severity of a broken bone, uh, we can get like a soft cast going, but uh, depending on how bad it is, we can transport them to the hospital. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. There we go. I mean, come <laughs> on. Um, I think it probably, now we do have some, uh, um, how should I say, clinics mm. that uh, do outpatient type work and everything in Cannon County, but um, I don't believe any of them, except for the emergency room at the hospital, is uh, open on Sunday. Right. The other thing I wanted to ask you is, do you accept insurance? Yes, ma'am. And I actually, you were mentioning the car show this past weekend. We were happy to be set up out there and we were talking to a lot of people about the clinic coming up and talking about how fast it's come up. But uh, <laughs> a lot of people were asking me that same question about insurance uh, and sort of what our model is because we know that we're set up in smaller communities like Woodbury. They're, um, they're like the way they are. So we're the way that we uh, handle that, we take over 99% of all insurances. So it's really very rare that we come across one that we don't take, but occasionally there's a smaller private insurance or something like that that's going to sort of fall under the radar for us. Um, so in cases like that, we have a $99 self-pay option for people. So what that does is anybody that's coming in and let's say they you know, their hands hurt and they need an x-ray and well, while I'm here, let's let's get a flu shot while I'm here. And I was going to ask you if you give flu shots. We do flu shots. And so that $99 is going to cover everything that happens in that visit, whether if it's an x-ray, flu shot, lab work, any of that stuff, that's $99 flat. So if you didn't have insurance, is that still the case? Absolutely. Yeah, that $99 is for people without insurance. Okay. So that's a self-pay price. The only thing, and we do uh, mention this as well, that if somebody comes in, let's say they um, you know, cut themselves and they have to get stitches, for a procedure like that that's taking up a little bit more time and is a little bit more extensive, uh, the self-pay price for that is $129. Mm -hmm. uh, but still, that, that would include everything. Everything, everything that's x-ray, stitches, all that stuff. But $99 is the comprehensive price for everything that's going to be covered in that visit. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of like that commercial you see on TV that everything is 19.99. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There we go. 
I think this is a good benefit. You are going to be set up at the health fair for this, at the senior center, right? You we're planning on it. We're planning on being there for that. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Well, that's a good thing because mm -hmm. those are probably some of the people you'll be seeing. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. But anyway, well, I think that's great. And besides being the fastest builders I've ever <laughs> seen, uh, it sounds like you've got everything covered. And I think there is a need for that in every community, so. And we're looking forward to it. We're going to be open on November 2nd. Uh, November 2nd, that's that Saturday. Uh, we'll be open starting that day and onward, seven days a week. But on that Friday, we're looking forward to seeing you all. And Grand opening. Yes, right. ma'am. That's that what I was, I said, don't tell me I got that <laughs> wrong. No, no, no. That Friday, November 1st, will be, that'll be a big celebration day. So what we'll do that day is from 11 to 2, we're going to have an open house. Uh, we'll do a ribbon cutting that day at 12. We'll have y'all out there. We'll have... A uh, bunch of it will be just like the groundbreaking, but we'll actually have a, an open building there. <laughs> but we'll have the staff there to meet everybody. We'll be providing free lunch, free t-shirts, uh, a bunch of goodies. We'll have a bunch of our, uh, the rest of our support staff there from our, some of our other clinics and our marketing team. But uh, that's just going to be our hello introduction day to the community. And then starting that Saturday on November 2nd, that's when we'll be open for business, ready to go. Okay, and so really you already have your staff, don't you? As far as I know, um, I, of course, any positions that are still open, those are going to be listed on our website. That's fastpaceurgentcare.com. Um, but as far as I know, at least, uh, you know, I know Brad is one of our providers, and I would assume most, at least most of that staff is assembled and on board and currently going through their training. Uh, okay. But if there's any, you know, uh, you can always pull from another one, can't you? Yes, there we go. We can pull from Smithville or Manchester or McMinnville or Sparta. or we, we'll, uh, we'll make sure that we're ready to go by November 2nd. Well, all right. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Jake, anything else you want to tell us? And we did appreciate you sitting up at, well, the, at the car show. It was a hot day. <laughs> it was. It was very warm, but we were, we were happy to be there. I um that, that was a really fun, I was loving the walk around seeing the cars. And yeah, stuff. they're really great. pretty cars, they Absolutely. are. A lot of people were there, so I'm glad they came over and visited you. Plus, you had good door prizes too. And that's always a help. <laughs> <laughs> that's like when you have your grand opening, I always say, mm -hmm. if you have food and door prizes, they'll come. <laughs> yeah, we'll be big, you know, this big, big screen TV that they have uh, open house, so hey, we'll have. Karaoke. <laughs> there we go. There we go. We'll just hang out as long as we want to. Well, all right, Jake. Thank you so much. Yes, and we'll have you back once you get going a little that bit. Would be awesome. See how everything's I look forward going to going for that. Well, all right. Yes, we thank you very much. All right. The next lady that stays pretty busy is um, Deborah Leach, and she is the director of our senior center. And of course, you have something going on all the time, don't you? Yes, we do. It's a busy place. Yes, it is. <laughs> and what do you got coming up? Well, in October, we have several things. I guess the first thing um, I will mention is our health fair, because um, you already mentioned it. Um, it will be on October the 9th. Starts at 8 o'clock and goes until 12 o'clock. And we still have openings for vendors. so. Um, we would love to have um, anybody who wants to come. Uh, of course, our focus primarily is on health, but we like other services in the area that are beneficial for our seniors, so, you know, that they would need to know about. And we've got a lot of health screenings and um, a lot of people that will bring information, giveaways, door prizes. So there you go. it is a booming time. Lunch. Um, <laughs> and then DTC Communications. Um, is sponsoring our health fair and providing lunch, so we appreciate that. I don't know them. what we'd do without DTC. Aren't they great? I don't. <laughs> um, but I do want to mention some of the health screenings because some of our um, people watching might want to want to know what you know we're going to have there That'd that be would fine. be um, offered. Um, we're going vision screenings. Of course, the Lions Club is going to be doing that, and they will set up to do that. We will have blood pressure checks, blood sugar checks, uh, BMI testing. Um, there will be an opportunity to have your uh, Medicare card laminated. That's always nice. Um, there will be foot scans and a chair massage. And um, I will say, 
You probably won't be able to get people out of that. The line <laughs> is the longest for the chair massage. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> but Cannon County Chiropractic will be there to do that. Um, we will also have um, a vendor that will talk about hearing health, um, balance screening. So as you can see, lots of things. Um, also flu shots. Woodbury Drug Center will be on site providing flu shots. So I just want to encourage everybody to come out. You do have to be present to win the door prizes. But this is open to the public. It is open to the public, yes. <coughs> we welcome people from the public to come in as well. Um, we usually have about 100 people. Yeah. At least 100 people come through. Um, so, so, yeah, that will be again on a Wednesday, October the 9th, which is next week. It um, is next week, eight, isn't it? 8 to 12, and then lunch will be at 12. Door prizes will be given away around 11.30, and you do have to be present to win. But, I mean, these vendors are so generous, and they bring very nice door prizes. Gift cards, and... And plus, they usually have uh, some type of... Um, what am I trying to say? Things related to their business. Oh I mean, yeah, they you have will like walk goodie bags. You will walk away with a bag full of information yes. <coughs> and uh, goodies, right. from ink pens to brochures. To, <coughs> yes, so um, it'll be great. So I just want to encourage everybody to come out for that. Um, then I guess next on the list um, is that we do have a day trip coming up on October 12th, um, and that is to Granddaddy's Farm. And we still need a few more people to sign up. And this is a great little place in Estill Springs. Well. I know. I don't think I've ever been there. Mm-mm. Well, I don't think I have. I had not heard of it before, but we checked it out. Uh, very nice people. Um, very reasonable. But they have over 30 varieties of mums <laughs> and over 50 varieties of pumpkins and winter squash and gourds. And they have like a little bake shop, a little restaurant. And um, they're known for their apple cider slushies. Oh, so okay, I really, wow. really, really want to go and try one of those. <laughs> but they have homemade uh, pies as well, like apple pie and pumpkin pie, and um, now you're caramel making me apples. Hungry. I know. <laughs> so are. all of this is made on site and fresh, and so oh. I mean it's wonderful. Um, and you can also get your Christmas shopping done. They have like Christmas ornaments and a little gift store and. Then they also have a hay ride that you can go on. So lots of things to do, so we're pretty excited about it. Um, the cost um, to go with us is $25, and that includes your ticket to get in plus the transportation. And then um, lunch is on your own, but we will eat there. Yeah. And we're planning to leave around 745, and that is on a Saturday so that anybody should be able to go. All right. October 12th. That sounds like fun for anybody, really. Can you take kids or grandkids yes. or anything? Yes, anybody can go on our trips, our travel okay. trips or our day trips. We welcome anybody to go. Well, I just remember taking the grandkids when they were smaller to, well, that pumpkin patch out in mm -hmm. McMinnville. And they had such a great time there. They really did. We did yeah. everything out there. We went on the hayride and, <laughs> you know, you they give you a pumpkin, but they oh, kind yeah. of want you, um, if you're not going to use that pumpkin, to give it back so that others can... Sure. Well, you just try to get a pumpkin away from a <laughs> Not pumpkin. from a child. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to happen, mm -hmm. I'll just tell you right now. But anyway, we had a great time out there. Mm -hmm. So this sounds really good. So even you can go with us, Carol. Do you see right here on the 12th, I have oh, a no. toy drive cruise in, a fall festival, oh. and white cane days. Not a good day for yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> I should have picked it's a different not. day. <laughs> but I wouldn't mind going on something mm -hmm. like that. That that would be fun. All right, you got something else I've that's got another, new. Yes, yes. Um, wanted to talk about this because it's going to be a little bit different for us. Um, of course, at the Senior Center, we do a lot of fundraisers, um, a lot of different events to raise money for our programming. Um, and this is going to be a murder mystery chili supper. Um, it is going to be on October 25th. And... Um, the theme is a little bit um, different, I guess. It's totally rad 80s prom gone bad. Now, some of my coworkers. Like a, a bad movie. 
Some of my coworkers think it's really funny um, because they're a lot younger. Yeah. But now, I went to prom in the 80s, 1983 and 84, and I don't think it's that funny because, <laughs> I mean, that was the hairstyle I had in the big, you know, can can prom dress with all the ruffles and all that, and we thought it was pretty. Um, but anyway, they're making a lot of fun. But it should be great because it has been a few years. So. Well, let's see. For one of my proms, <clears throat> everybody looked like a lampshade because, you know, oh, you had them shade. big, big dresses <laughs> with all the lace and the, uh -huh. everything that went with it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so every year's a little different. 80s was my kids, my daughter. Yes, yes. So. Well, um, anyway, it's definitely theme, and we're encouraging everybody to come dressed in the theme. Um, and it will be a murder mystery. So um, the first 20 people who sign up have an opportunity to get a role, a major role. Everybody can get a role that wants to come. But we've had some people to sign up who just want to be, you know, kind of in the background and watch they want to all be this. The victim. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We have somebody who yes, yeah, will be the victim. Mm -hmm. Somebody well, uh, who will murder. So. <laughs> But it's kind of who done it, so everybody wants yeah. to solve the mystery, and that's the whole idea. But it will be a chilly supper. Um, we will have it set up as a prom. Um, we will vote on the best dress. There will be a prom king and queen crown. Oh, so right. <laughs> so um, we will. If they're still alive. <laughs> well, maybe we'll do the crowning before the murder. <laughs> But anyway, uh, we want to encourage everybody to come. It's going to be a lot of fun. And it, of course, it's open to the community. And it's just $20. You can't yeah. beat the price. Um, That's a lot of fun for $20. Yeah. It is, really. And, and um, you're going to have dancing, too, yes. aren't you? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, lights, dancing, food, music. Needing strobe lights, music. I think I have some. Well, you know, I said, I think Carolyn has one from the Princess Ball, so I we do. may have to borrow your strobe I have a or disco of ball them. <laughs> or lights. But, um, but yeah, that's October the 25th at 6 o'clock, and you can purchase tickets at the Senior Center. If you have any questions, please give us a call. Um, but it will be, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Just on a daily basis, uh, you have a lot of activities, don't you, throughout the week? I mean, there isn't a week, there isn't a day where you don't have anything. Oh, there? no, 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 not in a senior center. No, no. It's got to be active and busy. We, um, we're open five days a week, Monday through Friday. We have exercise classes every day, two exercise classes a day. As a matter of fact, we were just featured um, for the Falls Free Friday. Don't know if you saw the picture of our exercise class in the paper. Um, I think I did. Yes, yes, they were all excited about that. But we, <laughs> we have anywhere from um, around 30 people in yeah. the mornings who, who exercise. Well, I know a lot of people tell me that they had been out there to exercise. Oh, yeah, it's a real good, real excellent program. Um, and then we also will have activities through the day um, as well. So, and of course we have a computer lab, we have a library, um, we have You have lots room. of puzzles. We have an exercise <laughs> room with equipment. Um, and you also give some art lessons and yes. this type of thing mm -hmm. too. So. Yes, we have art classes. And I know you had made some fall wreaths that I seen that I yes. thought were very pretty. Very, very pretty. Yeah, we have a new program director, program coordinator um, within the last couple of months and she's added a lot of creativity to our activities. Of course we will always have bingo because that's the most well, popular <laughs> and a lot of our community um, um, partners come in and do that for us and there's wonderful prizes so yes we do that. And then we have our um, travel program as well that you know, um, a lot of trips. A lot of trips, and anybody can go on our travel trips. We are, as a matter of fact, in November, I will be leaving for London and Paris, um, November the 6th well, through the 13th. Smart. <laughs> we have 15 people going on that trip. Oh, well, that's really, that's mm -hmm. quite a few. It is quite a few. So we love our international travel and our local travel as well. And you go as a group, and that way it's, mm -hmm. chances are you're not going to lose some. Oh no. Getting lost or something. No, we're not. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Any but anyone can go on the trip. Right? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Anybody can go on a trip. So we have an Alaska cruise coming up next year um, that I think is going to be pretty popular. Have you been there before? Alaska? No. Okay. I thought you had, mm -hmm. I thought you had been on one already, but that's fine. Not to Alaska. Been to Italy and Ireland, Switzerland, Austria, Bavaria. Come on. I know. <laughs> we have a group leaving in October going to Australia on a cruise. Okay, now if I was going to go to one, that would probably be the one I'd like to go to, but I probably wouldn't get off of the boat or anything because they have nine of the most poisonous snakes in the world. They don't care, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> well, they do. <laughs> oh uh, but I, I'll look at them from afar, you yes, know. And just, yes, yes. It's also, I hear, very beautiful there. I'm sure it is. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it is. So always something going on at the Senior Center. We invite um, anybody to come and... Tell them your number, tour. Deborah. 615-563-5304. And we also have a website. We have our calendar on our website. All the things I've mentioned on our website, as well as our travel program, and that's www.cannoncountyseniorcenter.com. You know, we have a lot of people moving into the community, and a lot of them fit in the senior category. Mm -hmm. What is um, what is the age limit that to sign up to be a member of the senior mm -hmm. center, and what's involved in that, really? Okay. Well, you have to be 60. Um, or older to join the Senior Center. Um, there's some paperwork initially that we have our uh, members complete. It takes about five, ten minutes. There's no membership fee. Um, once they join and fill out that paperwork, um, it's updated once a year and they can come anytime. And so actually you have a lot of programs that are very helpful because if anybody mm -hmm. has ever read the tons of mail you get from Medicare <laughs> um, you need somebody to kind of, as a guide, mm -hmm. usually, maybe not everybody, but a lot of people do. And you have these people, don't you? They, yes. They're coming, actually. I'm glad you mentioned that because they will be <laughs> at the Senior Center um, for the health fair um, to answer any questions, but also scheduled appointments on November 14th. To kind of go over your plans and yes, everything. Yes, and it's called the State Health Insurance Program, uh, the SHIP program. And um, it's an excellent program. Uh, my parents have used it and saved money because mm -hmm. what they do is they help you determine which plan, and this is the Medicare Part D plan for right. your medication um, coverage, which plan is best for you. So they right. sit down with you one-on-one -on -one review your medications, um, you know, your bills, mm -hmm. um, your health needs, and help you determine which one is the best. Right. And so it's an excellent program. Now, they will meet with people one-on-one -on -one throughout the year. Right. It's just they make scheduled appointments during open enrollment, and then I they go to different senior centers. I was going to say this mm -hmm. is open enrollment time, yes. so you probably, and yes. there is a deadline to that, is there not? Is it December? Um, October well, to December? Um, I know they're coming to us in November. I know everybody needs to have their plan in place before January 1. Okay. I can't remember the exact cutoff in December. But I can't either, but I, mm -hmm. I thought that's what it had said. Yes, yeah, so. so November 14th, um, you can schedule an appointment at the Senior Center. We have a few left. Um, you also have people there that will talk to you about driver's license. Mm -hmm. insurance and everything because mm -hmm. they have a do they not have a program for seniors to well that might save on some of their insurance if they take the driver some <laughs> safety course uh -huh, through AARP uh -huh, we usually offer that annually as well right um, that one is not scheduled at this point but it, and then we also help people with income taxes right uh, the VADA program um, is a free program as well so Yes, lots of different okay. programs and services. Um, so just come join the sen Senior Center and you will get a newsletter each month and then that will tell you what we have planned. Hey, they may teach you how to make a quilt or you might want to crochet. We have a crochet club and they are excellent. They do beautiful. It's amazing the work that they do. And they do special projects. Um, 
like the lap covers yeah. or the uh, prayer shawls. Um, last year, during the winter, they made um, little caps for the children at Vanderbilt Children's Hospital. That's so, great. It is. Um, they do beautiful work. So if you want to know how to crochet and you don't, they will teach you. But if you do, you can work <laughs> with them on a project. My grandmother tried to teach me one time, and she did teach me how to crochet one way. She just never taught me how to turn around and come back the other way. Oh. <laughs> So you can, so I can make a rope. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yeah. that's okay. I don't have a lot of time to do that. But she did do it, and I envy people that can do that. Mm -hmm. I do. Well, when you get a little bit more time, Carolyn, and you want to come to the senior center, they will teach you. How to turn around and come back the <laughs> yes. other way. Yes, and make something beautiful. <laughs> I don't know. That would probably be... I don't know if I have enough life left to do that. So I would be like making one of the white oak baskets. Mm-hmm. Those are beautiful. I needed to start that when I was 10 years old in order to be done by today, you know. <laughs> well, you're never too old to learn. So. I don't know. <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> Deborah, I will put our senior center up against any in the, in the state. <laughs> I will. I think you do a great job mm -hmm. out there. I think everybody... Uh, you give everybody the information, uh, things that they need to to know about that they don't have help with. And there are people out there who don't have family that mm -hmm. is close that can help them. So the Senior Center is your next best bet. Mm -hmm. And don't be afraid to go out there. I'm sure they'll let you just sit in one day mm -hmm. and see what goes on. Mm -hmm. You may find something that you can't go home without coming back to do. You'd probably never get me out of the puzzle room because I really oh, like yeah. the puzzles. Yes, I do. and we have lots of puzzles, like you said. Yes, you and do. they're working on one all the time. Yeah. So. And um, and we do have a homebound program, Carolyn. You mentioned that. Um, a lot of people think what we offer is just at the center, mm -hmm. but we do have um, different services for people who cannot um, get out of their home um, that are seniors. So um, we welcome you know, all seniors to call, give us a call and see what we have to offer. Christmas time, you have, and of course, that's going to be here before you know it, the gala. Yes. Which is one of my favorite events. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I run out of ideas. I, you know, you give mm -hmm. me a theme and I think, mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to have to buy more dishes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is coming up. But it is December fun. 13th yep. this year. And in, the theme is Toyland Christmas. Yeah. And I know you'll have a beautiful table, as always. Well, we'll see. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I keep changing my mind as to what I think I want to do, so mm -hmm. we'll see what happens <laughs> with that. But I will tell you this, all of the tables, and usually about how many do you have? Well, um, 17. We try to have 17. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they're all gorgeous. They're I mean, beautiful. all of them are. It's just amazing if you... If you've never been to that, you need to get a ticket whether you do a table or not, mm -hmm. because you will be amazed at some of these ladies. I'm amazed at some of the dishes some of these ladies have. Absolutely beautiful. And the fact that they will use their antique gorgeous dishes, <laughs> they <will>. right? <laughs> yeah, beautiful. And they will build a theme to go <laughs> with them. You know, I was thinking Toyland Christmas, and I thought, if I could get a real short little person to sit on the table and act like he's making toys, hey, that's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Might yeah, fit right yeah. in there. Just don't know if he'd sit there that long, so have one of Santa's elves up there. <laughs> All right, dear, I appreciate you coming you. and telling us everything because there's things there that if you've never been, I think the murder mystery thing is great. Mm -hmm. I do. Um, you may be a victim, you never know. So you just right. need to sign up and go to it. It's gotta be fun. Even, you don't have to dress up, do you? No, we have some people come in that, that aren't planning to dress up. You probably um, won't be king or but queen. Then we but we have other people who are really, really, really going around a lot of different places to find <laughs> the perfect dress. So there you go. <laughs> Well, I had a closet full of them, <laughs> but I think the grandkids wore them out because they used to play in them. So, yeah. 
so I probably don't have any more left. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you. And thank you for helping with the car show. She was yes. one of them. Yes. It takes a, it, you know, it takes a village, mm -hmm. and she was one of them. But <laughs> you're also on our board, so yes. I do appreciate the help for that. You're welcome. All right, now we have Everything Art Center with Lindsay Duggan, and you have a new flyer out, a new yes. card. Yes, we have our new season for 2020 that we just announced. Um, so we'll talk about that for sure. But the first thing um, that you guys have, that we have coming up, the next thing that you, uh, well, the next concert series that everybody's excited about um, is Shake, Rattle, and Roll. And that's December the 20th through the 22nd. And those tickets sell so fast. Um, the, it's the same group. If you've been to see a Shake, Rattle, and Roll concert here, it's that same group coming back again. It's all the music of Johnny Cash, Jerry Lee Lewis, Elvis Presley, Carl Perkins, um, with some really talented musicians. And it is um, this December, Jingle, Rattle, and Roll is what they've renamed it. Um, but it is all of those favorite songs plus some Christmas songs. That all right. Fun. And I'm going to have that same band in town for the country Christmas on Saturday, November 23rd. And they will be there doing a little promo for this show. Um, they're great. If you've never seen this group, I would recommend them to, I've been to, I think everyone they've had so far. Uh, has and sold I'd out go completely. back again, and it will sell out. Yeah, get your tickets ahead of time. That's December 20th through the 22nd. If you want to see their concert here, um, give us a call as soon as possible because they will sell quickly um, for those. That's Jingle, Rattle, and Roll. Um, but right before that, um, we are ending our 2019 series on the stage this year with a Christmas Story, the musical, and that is November 8th through the 23rd. Um, and that is on our stage here. It is the story that you know um, and love about the leg lamp and the kid in the bunny suit and the kid getting his tongue stuck to a flagpole. It's all that um, famous story that you like around Christmas time, but we've set it to music. So it is a musical on our stage um, and it runs for three weekends. So definitely get your tickets to come out. It does run in November, November the 8th through the 23rd, like I said. Um, so it's a little early this year, but it's never too early to start Christmas. No, no, so. I've already started Christmas. There you go. <laughs> um, so definitely come see us for that show. Um, November 8th through the 23rd, you can buy tickets online or you can give us a call, whatever you would like. Um, and so also our season tickets are on sale for next year as we're going, thinking about going into next year. Um, our season tickets this for 20, the 2020 season are $65 for adults and $55 for students. And if you want that uh, express pass to get in there early to get your seat, um, that is $105 for the whole year. That is six productions, uh, which is a really great deal. Um, and with that, if you get the patron ticket is what we're calling it, if you get the express pass, um, you also get a gift certificate to come see one of our Young at Art school show series shows, um, which is our shows that are geared towards kids. They're usually about an hour and 15 minutes long. There's not an intermission, um, but it, we're doing some really fun shows for that next year as well. Um, so season tickets are on sale. Our new 2020 season will open January 31st uh, with Fiddler on the Roof. That is a classic. We've that done it here one. at the Art Center um, several times in the past. Um, and I don't know if you know this, Carolyn, but 2020 is our 40th anniversary season. So the that. Art Center has is uh, 40 years That's old. That's hard year. to believe that it's 40 years old. <laughs> It don't look real old. When you come here, it don't look real well, old. Well, the building is about 30 years old. Yeah. Um, oh, that's right. It was up under the uh, the old uh, veterans gym Yes. in the basement mm -hmm. the first 10 years, wasn't it? Yes. So the building is only about 30 years old. And, of course, we've made some new mm -hmm. um, add additions to that since then even. Uh, but that stage has been there for 30 years, and we have been around for 40. So... Um, so we're opening next season, January 31st through the 15th with Fiddler on the Roof. 
Then we're following it up in March, uh, March 27th through April 11th is Honky Tonk Angels. Oh, I have to come see that. Yes, it's going to be great, great music. Um, then July 10th through the 25th, we're doing Matilda the musical, and it's like the movie Matilda that you see, and um, the book by uh, Ronald, Ronald Dahl, I think so, it's children's book. Um, and then August the 14th through the 29th is The Wedding Singer, which is a musical comedy. Um, it's going to be great. And then September 25th through October 10th is Wait Until Dark. It is a play um, that is the same as the Audrey Hepburn movie that right. you might know. Um, so yeah, Wait <coughs> Until Dark is a little bit spooky right at the beginning of October there. And then in December 4th through the 19th, we have a show that we cannot announce just yet, but it will be announced uh, in January of next year. Uh, so that is our lineup for next year. I now I look at that and it says TBA and I thought, well, what is that? And then I thought, well, to be <laughs> to announced. To be announced, That's yes. What it is. We have a TBA, uh, but we'll, we will be releasing that in January of next year. Um, so that is, it's a really great lineup for next season. I'm really it is. excited. And then of course, during all of this, they also have the gift shop that is open. If they're open, the gift shop is open. Mm -hmm. uh, they also have the exhibits throughout both of the halls. Right. Um, great exhibits, and they are for sale. Yes. The only thing that people come in that is the white a a basket display. We do have some white oak baskets for sale, but these that are in the showcase are not for sale. So we have so. Uh, the burger gallery, which is in our lobby area like you said, and uh, the Cannon Hall, um, which is what we're in right now with the lovely artwork that is behind us. Um, and we have a permanent basket display in Cannon Hall uh, that is their legacy items, their baskets that have been passed down from the Master Basket Makers family that are on display here. Several of the artists have passed away even, and their, their baskets are here on display. So those aren't for sale. But like, uh, like you said, in our gift shop, we have everything um, from white oak baskets we've got some beautiful wooden spoons that handmade wooden spoons in there right now pottery um, pottery a lot of pottery that's just gorgeous wooden items yes little uh, we've got some wooden toys in there that would be great for uh, kids around christmas i love wooden toys yes I we've do. got some glass ornaments i think um I mean, just all jewelry. Kinds of stuff. Lots of jewelry. That's my favorite. <laughs> uh, we've it got is. some really talented uh, jewelry makers that have their work in there. Um, and the gallery spaces, going back to those, those change about every six weeks or so. So, and it's free to the public to come and just come by and look at some art. So, anytime that we're open, we are open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 until 4. And you're welcome to come by, take a look at the art, go through the gift shop. And if you've never been in our theater space, we'll be happy to show you in our theater space too. Um, it's a pretty interesting place. They are just finishing up uh, Clue, the musical. And every time I go in there, it's like theater in the round. Uh, but the stage part of it is really not huge. But it is redone for every show and this one has actually, uh, it has the library and the study and the whatever else they had in Clue. It's really something to see. I, I, everybody that's been to it, that was one of the things that they, they mentioned to me the most was the was set. The set. Um, yeah, we did uh, base our Clue set on the board game itself. Right. So it does look a lot like the board game when you walk in. Uh, and you're right, we completely repaint, rebuild, f start from scratch for every performance that we do. Um, so it's always fun to walk into the theater and see it transformed into something different. Yeah, well, uh, this one really was neat. a good one. And it yes, it was a fantastic <laughs> set. You can thank uh, Brittany Goodwin for that. She was the set oh, designer. Oh, well, good, good. Uh, yeah, so that it's, uh, it's a really fun show, and we are closing it this weekend. It closes October 5th. Um, but on to Christmas Story, and it'll transform into something different. Yes. So it's exciting. Everything Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, well, is there anything else? that w Oh, the White Oak, I will tell you was a great success, Yes, very hot. It was very warm, <laughs> but we had a great time. You did, and there was a lot of people came and a lot of, of craftsmen yes. that set up for that. And one other thing that kind of leads into this 
is every year they have the uh, off the beaten path studio tours. Now I will say that most of these take place in um, DeKalb County. I, I think the art center, I, I don't think that you're on the tour, but you're one of the sponsors That's for correct. this event. Yes. And this, but there's a pamphlet out that has the map of all of these people and you go to their actual studios. Uh, we do have one in Cannon County and I can't pronounce his name. Dan Cree, um, he's on South Macquarie and he does wood. Oh, woodworking. Alan Day. Uh, yes, yes. I know who you're talking about, but I'm not sure how to say his last name anyway. <laughs> but he's a, he's a, a woodworker. woodworker. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's really fun to go in and see these individual studios and where they work. That's pretty cool. How they do this. But if you need a pamphlet, I have one. <laughs> but I could probably get some more. But you can also, this will be October 25th through the 27th, and it will be from 10 a.m. in the morning until 5. And you can take this tour, and they do have a website. It's called offthebeatenpathtour.com. So you can go on there and find out uh, more information. And if you didn't get that, call, my, call me, and I'll be glad to give that to you. And I think this may be their 20th year wow. of doing this, which doesn't seem possible wow. either. Mm -hmm. And I will say this, I think October must be festival month in Cannon County, because I have never seen so many festivals as we have. Um, well, I'll tell you this first, because I want everybody to be nice. October 11th and 12th, the Woodbury Lions Club will be holding white cane roadblocks. And usually I get some complaints about this. But listen, people, this is mainly where you can give if you want to. If you don't want to, then just go on by. But don't be rude to them because these are Lions Club members that are raising money for a great cause, and that is for the blind. They have done this for years and years. It helps with seeing eye dogs for the blind. It helps. You won't believe the people that call me and need glasses uh, for someone in their family, and maybe they can't afford them. Uh, the Lions Club tries to help with all of that, and they screen all of the kids at the schools, uh, and they have found a lot of children that had serious eye problems, and they were sent on to Vanderbilt or wherever. It also helps the School for the Blind. And so the Lions Club does a lot of good work, and this is one of their main charities. This was what Lions Club was founded on, was help for the blind and eye problems that people have. So that will be the 11th and the 12th. So when you see those people standing out there with their yellow vests on, just be nice and give them some money. Give them a lot of money, that'll help. This weekend, and I don't even know if this will get out before this weekend, but Houston Hills in Woodbury is a subdivision, and they are holding a yard sale. It will be on Friday and Saturday, beginning at 8 a.m. on October 4th and 5th. So if you're looking for a yard sale, there it is. October 9th will be the Senior Center Health Fair, and that begins at 8 o'clock, and Deborah went over that with you. Uh, Saturday, October 12th, will be Fall Under the Mountain Craft Fair. This will be held in Gazaway, Tennessee, and it is sponsored by the Gazaway Volunteer Fire Department. It begins at 8 a.m. until 3 p.m. There will be food, crafts, entertainment, and more. And so be sure, and if you're wanting to be a vendor or you have a craft that you would like to have a booth, uh, Give me a call at the chamber, 563-2222, and I'll give you a number to call uh, where you can get in touch with them. Uh, Saturday, October 19th, will be the Stone River Recovery, and they will hold their 2019 Harvest Festival on the square in Woodbury from 8 a.m. until 9 p.m. There will be vendors, crafts, music, and food for that. Uh, last year they had a big crowd, uh, so keep that in mind if you're looking for somewhere to go. 
and Saturday, October 26th, will be Oktoberfest. And this was initially started by the Old Feed Store Antique Mall, but since then, many of the other antique stores and businesses in town have gotten involved in this, so uh, that will be around the square. And of course, the old feed store is right off of the square on Water Street. So that'll be a fun thing to do. November 8th, I can't believe we're talking about November 8th, there will be Veterans Day events. On Friday, they will take place at the high school. And then on Saturday will be the parade. And if there are any people out there with mules or horses or old cars that would like to participate in that, please give me a call at 615-563-2222 and um, we'll set you up because we'd like to have a big Veterans Day parade. And of course, as usual, DTC will be filming that. Uh, November 22nd and 23rd will be Cannon Country Christmas in Woodbury. We're already meeting and have been for a couple of months making plans for this event. Santa will arrive on the square on Friday at 5 p.m. There will be pictures with Santa, but the difference between these and the previous ones a few years back is you will take your own pictures. And so bring your cameras or your cell phones and we will have a gazebo set up there and Santa will be in that gazebo. And that will also go over to Saturday. He will be there until 12. And participating merchants in this event, uh, they'll have sales and refreshments, and you can get your Christmas shopping started right here in Cannon County, I guarantee it. Plus, they stay open late, and they go out of their way to make you feel welcome. Uh, there will be a grand prize uh, you'll find out more about this a little later about how to go about it. Um, the courthouse, well, our, what we will have on Saturday will begin at 11 o'clock and we will have Jingle Rock and Roll. We'll do a little pre-performance uh, for their event and they will be on the square at 11 and that will be followed by the grand prize drawing at 12 noon. And like I say, Santa will be available for pictures. Now this is festival month in Cannon County and I'm sure we can see you at something. Short Mountain Distillery is also having a haunted house and it's being held on the weekends. So call the Short Mountain Distillery and um, yeah, that's always fun because they have a lot of, um, if you want to go to a haunted woods, that's probably the one you need to go to because they do a good job with that. And I can't think of, an oh yes, I can think of another thing. Uh, the holiday marketplace will take place on November 9th from 9 to 2 p.m. And that will be at uh, Westside School. The PTO is putting on this event. It will be from 9 until 2 p.m. They will have clothing, jewelry, baked goods, ornaments, wreaths, candle soaps, crafts, handbags, door prizes, and they will also have vendors. And they are needing vendors for that event. So uh, you can give me a call and I'll tell you how to get in touch with them. And I think we've got you covered up almost until Christmas, and I'll tell you more about that next month. See ya. <laughs>